videos. Okay, so today's video, I'm gonna talk to you all about my hair care routine, um, just a few products that I've been using for a couple of years or months, or um, what's new, what I've been using. Just, I get a lot of questions about my haircut, um, how I make my color so vibrant, um, how long you should go before getting your hair trimmed, just all those questions. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that starts off with my hair is in the shower, of course, and I'm gonna start by using my favorite shampoo conditioner. Um, this is a, I think it's a L'Oreal brand. It makes my hair so soft. I cannot even describe like how soft it makes my hair. And that's like one of the most important things as far as um, my shampoo conditioner is making my hair really soft and like, manageable. Um, I think the shampoo is for damaged hair, just like overworked processed hair. So right here, I'm going to show you exactly how I wash my hair. Now, I do wash my hair differently or more specific in the shower than um, I guess most people, but um, a trick that I've been using for a couple of years now is um, shampoo. When I shampoo my hair, I start at the top of my hair and I only shampoo the top of my hair. I don't shampoo the bottom. <laughs> Um, shampoo kind of dries out your hair, especially at the ends, so um, you can use shampoo all over, but I recommend you just kind of focusing at the tops and the roots of your hair for shampoo. Now as far as conditioner, conditioner is extremely moisturizing, um, so I kind of work from the shaft down. I don't really go on the top. I kind of, as you'll see, I kind of work down and the leftovers on my hands, I kind of use the top. <laughs> Since, shampoo, since conditioning is so moisturizing and silky, it's really going to weigh down any volume that you have on the top of your head where your roots are. So I've been using this technique for like literally like three years and it's seriously, it's like the best. It's how I get my hair like naturally having a lot of volume and um, keep my ends moisturized. Now a few tips and tricks as far as like hair mask and everyday things that you can use or weekly. Um, there are some really good home remedies you can do as far as you know, man mayonnaise is really good, as disgusting as it is. Um, eggs are really good for your hair and your face. Um, any kind of uh, oil is really, really nourishing to towards your hair. So um, I would recommend the mayonnaise and egg mask. Literally all you do is a scoop of mayonnaise, um, an egg, and I try to take out the egg yolk, just like the white part of the egg. And maybe you can just like mix that up and then just apply that to your hair for maybe, I don't know, it, the more you leave it on, the better it's going to be. So an hour or overnight, whatever your preference is for that. The leave-in conditioner that I use on an everyday basis is Suave's um, Keratin Infusion. And I love their Keratin line. It's awesome. And this is just a heat defense leave-in conditioner. It just looks like this. And the oil that I use is, um, I use this every day too. And this is a Shine Silk Fusion Therapy, and that's what it looks like. Now as far as I get my color, I am a natural blonde, but to kind of like enhance my blonde and kind of give it a more awake look, and um, especially during the winter because I can't, you know, go out in the sun and get it naturally, I use the Lemon Fresh Sun In Hair Lightener. And this is just like lemon extracts. Um, some people say it's really bad for you, but honestly, if you use it like once every like month, I mean, it's, really, it's not gonna harm your hair that much. Um, I don't use it that often. I use it whenever I kind of feel my hair is not that, not as like vibrant and bright as it usually is. And then I'll, you know, put some usually at the top of my root. and then I'll just lighten my hair a little bit, give a little bit of shine and just an extra boost that it needs. Now for volume, I love um, this Got To Be Too Sexy. This is a voluminous volume spray mousse. It just looks like this. Um, I really like any kind of like volumizing sprays except for there's some that kind of make you a little bit sticky. You have to be really careful with the textures that you get. So as far as whenever I curl my hair, um, leave it curly. As you can see, I'm gonna be kind of um, blow drying the top of my bangs just to keep to give that volume and the rest I let air dry because that's my natural curls. Now whenever I straighten my hair, I blow dry it all over and then I put the curler at the top. And the curler is a velcro curler, just looks just like this. You can get this from Sally's, um, Dollar General, Walmart for like 
like not even a dollar. I mean, like they're so cheap, they're so affordable, and they really, really do help um, give your hair volume. And that's how I give my hair like the little wave thing. Now, as far as my haircuts, I honestly do not get my hair cut a lot. Um, that's probably why my hair has gotten so long. You're supposed to get it every six to eight weeks, which is, you know, that's relatively, you know, pretty good to um, swing by and get your hair trimmed. What my haircut style is, I have um, bangs and um, you know you can style them like this or I mean I style mine up and just kind of like a wave but just say you want bangs I'm a little bit longer bang I have long hair but there's like a little bit of shorter layers but they they stop like right here they don't go any further up so just ask your hairstylist for um, a trim with long layers and bangs and that's it and speaking of haircuts I actually lost my hairdresser she um, cut my hair I me mean, and my brother's hair for a long time um, her best friend cut my hair before, but she moved, so she took her place, and her name is Sherry, and she actually passed away a couple weeks ago in a car accident, so I really want to dedicate this video to her. She was, like, the sweetest lady. I mean, like, she genuinely cared about you, and she wasn't just, like, a hairdresser, like, uh, and I'm really gonna miss her and stuff, so it makes me sad even, like, thinking about, like, having to get my hair cut. Keep your prayers for her and her family and stuff, and, um, I know I've been praying for her. She's a really, really sweet person. So, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, um... And I hope I answered your questions about my hair. I get so many questions about how I style it, you know, what shampoo and conditioner I use. Um, really, it all starts in the shower about how you take care of it. Um, make sure you, do, you moisturize your hair. It, it craves moisture 24-7. Um, don't forget to comment and subscribe. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye.